I would like to uh, welcome everyone to Watch Hill uh, on this beautiful day uh, to celebrate a, uh, a great occasion. Uh, we are uh, extremely proud uh, of today because it's another milestone in the history uh, of the Timex group. I think I would just spend uh, a couple of moments on explaining a little bit to our visitors and guests today a little bit about the Timex group because we do have a long and exciting history. As many of you would know, we were founded in Waterbury in 1854 under the name of the Waterbury Clock Company. And a lot of things have happened in those 155 years. For decades, we were called US Time. And thanks to the uh, success of the Timex watch brand, on July 1st, 1969, uh, the company changed its name to Timex. And ever since then, and in particularly over the last two decades, the company has evolved into becoming the Timex Group. And today we span 12 different brands, uh, from mass to luxury, right from good old Timex, all the way up to Swiss super premium band, Vincent Berard. We have 5,000 employees around the world, and we are truly spanning the globe in all of our operations, be that sales and marketing or manufacturing. We have never forgotten, though, where we come from. And I think it is worth just resting a, a moment on the fact that uh, although two-thirds of our business is outside the United States, we remain true to our birthplace and our global headquarters is still right here in Middlebury, Connecticut. And where we were born, in Waterbury, Connecticut, we still have our Time Expo Museum. That's where our roots are and there, that is where we operate from that's what bring pride and what bring a lot to us every day and I think it's fair to say that we have been able to attract to the heart of Connecticut talent not only from all over the state of Connecticut but from all over the country from Europe from Asia so don't say that Connecticut is not the center of the world <laughs> Very important part of Timex Group's value foundation today is our commitment to corporate social responsibility, as Kathleen was talking about a little bit earlier. We thought it was very important to uh, make an integral part of our value statement, the, our commitment to uh, CSR. We obviously make great watches. We are proud of what we do. But we also thought that it was important that pride in our people, pride in our company, has to come from other places as well. There's nothing as powerful as a company's reputation. And therefore, it is very, very important to us that our commitment to our local communities and to all the communities around the world where we operate is clear and can build pride in our employees around the world. Today, we are basically dedicating another milestone in this commitment to CSR, which is the opening of our solar power installation. And uh, I would like to recognize all of the Timex Group employees in the room for their support and commitment to our CSR programs. And do remember that the hundred or so of you who are in here today represents 5,000 colleagues around the world and uh, that we reach out to today and thank them for their support and for whatever they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Today it's about the environment. Today is about our commitment to a better world, to a better climacy policy, and to a better world for our children and our grandchildren. I was very happy to hear Governor Rell's uh, address yesterday, obviously the new administration's focus on green, but I was also a little bit sad to read on the front page of the New York Times yesterday that these are dark days for green energy. Because these days should be very sunny days for green energy. There's a lot to be said about not in, not in tough times giving up on these kind of battles. And uh, I think that it's fair, I can as a foreigner, I think, say that the United States is a little bit behind in this area. That the watch and jewelry industry is a little bit behind in this area and therefore we are very proud that we can hopefully 
help put more focus on this and take a leadership position. Because this battle is really worth winning. And as a former French president said, the only battles lost in advance are the ones you don't join. So let's make sure that we really remain committed to this even in tough times. The solar power project that we are inaugurating today is a, uh, is, is, is a fantastic installation. It is the largest ground mounted installation in the state of Connecticut and the largest or second largest in the entire northeastern United States. Thank <laughs> you.